Oh yeah, that's great. Hey everybody, I'm Alan Hain, the internet's most passionate lawn care nut, here with another lawn tip today. And in fact, I'm excited about this one because it's one of the great grand secrets of lawn care. One of the biggest questions I've gotten over the years, being a lawn care pro that I am. That's right, I've been doing lawns since I was 16 years old. And judging by the gray, Al, you're a lot older than that now. <laughs> yeah, I know. But anyway, one of the biggest questions I get is how do I grow grass seed? Or how do you grow grass seed? I know, I know, you guys wish there was some magic way to grow grass seed, right? Like maybe some poofy dust like this. Ready? Ready? <laughs> no, no such thing as that. It just takes time and it takes perseverance, and it takes a little bit of knowledge. And as you guys know, our ultimate goal with lawn care, our ultimate goal in having a nice lawn is to have a thicker lawn. A thicker lawn will resist all problems and it's gonna look better. So getting your lawn thicker is one of the main goals. In fact, it is the main goal. Now, one of the best ways to get your lawn thicker is by seeding or adding in grass seed. Of course, you're always gonna come up with some bare spots or some thin areas, or maybe your lawn's just totally crappy right now and like all over it's thin, and you know that you're gonna need to do some seeding. So let's talk about it. What I see as I troll around the internets and I look at all the different lawn care advice out there is I see a lot of methods that people talk about. People talk about different methods for seeding. There's the you know aerate and overseed method. There's the slit seed method. There's the rake it out, throw down lime, put down grass seed, put down topsoil, put down mulch, blah, blah, blah. There's all these different you know, methods out there. Hey, and I'm all about methods, trust me. I make my living with lawn methods. Uh, I sell books and stuff on methods. But really, there are some things that you need to consider when you're growing grass seed that are universal truths. Universal truths with grass seed. The first truth is that you need to have heat in order to grow grass seed. When it comes to heat and temperature, we want to follow two simple rules. We don't want temperatures to fall below 45 and we don't want them to go above 75. If we can stay in that range for growing grass seed, we're going to be good. For me in my area here in northern Indiana, the best time to get temperatures that are going to remain steady between 45 and 75 is going to be April, like mid-April through May and into the beginning of June, and then again through maybe the beginning of September into October and maybe into the beginning of November. So those are the optimum windows to get the right amount of heat to grow grass seed. Universal truth number two, water, water, water. The grass needs to be moisturized. The grass needs moisture, moisturize, moisturize, especially those baby grass seedlings that are just growing. So what I tell people is when you're seeding at any point at all, you want to water every single day. And in fact, you want the grass seed to be constantly wet daily. Universal truth number three is you need seed to soil contact. You can grow grass with just heat and water. The problem is it needs to have soil for it to root into. You need your seed to be sitting on soil or ideally covered in soil on bottom and top. If you just water seed a lot, it'll grow, but it's also sending, uh, but it's also sending roots down. And if there's no soil for the roots to come in contact with, the seed will eventually die. So you need to have some sort of seed to soil contact. That's universal truth number three. If you follow these three simple rules, no matter what method you use, you're bound to be successful in growing grass seed. I'm Alan Hain, the internet's most passionate lawn care nut, the lawn care pastor, the lawn care preacher. I am the guy. Yeah, thanks. Oh, by the way, don't forget to subscribe to my channel below. Would love to have you as a subscriber. I'm going to be putting out all kinds of great lawn care tips all in the future. Thanks a lot. See you later. Bye.